welcome again in the continuation of our lessons uh, today i'm going to take you through total value and expanded form of a number now first of all let us start with the meaning of a total value and expanded form what does it mean by the term total value a total value within a number is the product of a digit and its respective place value so when we take a product of a digit and its place value is where we get a total value apart from a total value also an expanded form is the way of expressing a number in a long form by breaking up a particular number in its respective digits basing on their present values to get the total values and combining the resulting total values by using addition sign. Now, via these two meaning of a total value and expanded form, we are going to see different examples to show what have been de defined here. Now, let us start with the first example. Write the total value for each digit in the following number. The given number is 8,205,491. Now, how do we write a total value of each digit in this number? Let us start with the first digit. The first digit in this number is 8. Now, what is a total value of 8? I have told you that to get a total value, you take the product of a digit and its place value. So to get a total value for 8, we will take 8 times its place value. Its place value is in millions. So we will multiply with the 1 million. As you can see, and you will get 8 million. So, the total value of 8 in this number will be 8 million. The second digit is 2. Now, what is a total value of 2 in this number? A total value of 2 will be obtained by taking this 2 times its present value. The present value of 2 in this number is in 100 thousandths. So if it is in 100,000, we take 2 times 100,000. So it will be equal to 2 times 100,000. And you will get 200,000. This will be the total value of 2 in this number. 200,000. 200,000. As you can see. Now we shoot it to the third digit, which is a zero. Now the third digit is zero. To get its total value, it will be it will be zero times the place value. The place value of zero here is ten thousands. So we multiply by ten thousands. As you can see, now it will be zero. So, a total value of zero in this number is zero. Note, a total value of zero in any number is zero because when you take zero times any value, you get, z you get zero. Uh, five, which is the next digit in this number, uh, the total value for this will be equal to five times its place value. It is in the place value of thousands. So, it will be... 5 times 1,000, 5 times 1,000, which will be equal to 5,000. So, a total value of 5 in this digit will be 5,000, as you can see here. Now, we go to 4. A total value of 4 is 4. 4 will be multiplied by 2. 100 because it is in hundreds. 4 times 100, which will be 400, it will be equal to 400. So, a total value of 4 in this number is 400. 400. 
Now we got to 9. What is a total value of 9 in this number? A total value of 9 will be equal to 9 times its place value. It is, its place value is in 10. So it will be multiplied by 10. 10 to get 90. So a total value of 9 in this number is 90. As you can see. Now we go to the last digit. Our last digit is 1. Now what is a total value of 1 in this number? A total value of 1. A total value of 1 in this number is it is the last one. It is in the place of 1. So we multiply it by 1. After taking 1 times 1, we get 1. So a total value of 1 in this number will be 1. Now, this is the general way we write a total value of each digit within a given number. Simply. The easy way to write the total values of different digits within a number is this one. Uh, you consider where a digit is, and after writing a digit, you add the number of zeros equals to the number of digits after that particular digit. For example, when you deal with the first one, here is 8, it means that the Total value of 8 is obtained by taking 8 and adding number of zeros uh, equal to the number of digits after 8. So we have, after 8 we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it means that you write 8 and you add the number of zeros equals to the number of the digits after 8 which are 6. Now we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we have 6 zeros equal to the number of digits after 8. To get the total value for the next number, which is 2, to get the total value for the next digit, which is 2, you add zeros equal to the number of digits after 2. We have, after 2, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So you add 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. The same to the last. And the last one, because is the last, so there is no any number after it. You write it as it is. So this is the simple way to write the total value of each digit in a given number. A second example, write, write 8,205,491 in expanded form. Expanded form. Uh, Apart from the first example, where we are asked to write a total value for each digit in that number, but now in the second example, you are asked to write the same number in the expanded form. Now, how do we do the solution? The solution. Uh, you will write, you write 8 million. 205,491 is equal to, in its expanded form, you take the total of the total values, as I have said in the meaning there, that you will take 8 million, 8 million plus, plus 200, thousand plus five thousand plus four hundred plus ninety plus one so it is simple to write the expanded form of a given number you take just the summation of the respective total values of each digit in that particular number. As you can see here, we have, we have taken the sum, the sum of the total values which you have obtained. So this way of writing is what we call the expanded form. Now let us see a third example. Write the total value of each digit in 
in the forum. In the forum number. The number is 215.39. Now, you are asking to write the total value of each digit in this number. Now, how do we write the total value for each? In this third example, uh, a number given is in a decimal form. Now, how do we write a total value for each digit in this number? Let us see the solution. In this third example, we are given to write the total value of each digit in 215.39. Now, how do we write a total value of each digit in this number? Simply, we start with the first digit in this number, which is 2. Now, we have agreed that to get a total value, you take a digit times its press value. Now, the total value for 2 will be 2 times total value of 2, which is now it in the press of 100. So it will be 2 times 100, which will be 200, which will be 200. So it will be 200 here, total value of 2. Now, we shift to the second one, which is 1. 1, one year is in the press of 10. So it will be 1 times 10, which will be 10. So the total value of 1 will be 10. Uh, we have a third ditch, which is 5. 5 year will, is in the press of 1. So it will be multiplied by 1, which will be 5. So, a uh, total value of 5 in that number will be 5. Uh, we have our next digit which is 3. This is 215.3. So, 3 is in press of tenths. Tenths. So, in the press of tenths is multiplied by its value. Tenths is, uh, is simply 1 over 10 which will be equal to 3 times 0 0.1. So it will be equal to 0 0.3. So a total value of this 3 will be 0 0.3. Now let us see a total value for the next digit, which is 9. A total value for 9, you will see where 9 is. It is in the place of 100 this. So it will be 9 times 100 this. It means it is 1 over 100. 1 over 100. Which will be equal to 9 times 0 0.01. Now we will get 0 0.09. Now the total value for 9 in that number will be 0 0.09. Nine, as you can see. Now, this is the total values of different DC found in this number in 215.39. So, this is the way we express total values of a number, of the digits within a number which is in a decimal form. Which is in a decimal form. Now let us see a fourth example to express, to write the same number, 215.39 in expanded form. In expanded form. So it is simple. The same as we did in the second example, it is the same. Now, the solution for this the expanded form for this number will be 215.39 will be equal to, as I have told you before, that to write the expanded form you take just the summation of 
the total values of individual total values for each digit within a particular number. So we will take it will be equal to 200, 200 plus 10 plus 5 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.09. Now this will be the expanded form for this number. So it is so simple. Now it is my expectation that via these four examples you have understood well the way to write a total value of any digit within a number and the way to express any given number in the expanded form. Now, uh, being in the position of doing the homework, I am going to provide you now. This is the homework. Uh, the first question, write the total value for each dip in each of the following numbers. The first number is 156,784. The second number is 284.15679. A second question, write each of the following numbers in expanded form. The first number is 1,278,015. A second number is 82.0164. A third question, write the total value for each underlined digit in each of the following numbers. The first number is 36.845 the underlined one is 3 the second number 8957 the underlined digit is 9 our third number is 15.051 the underlined one is 0 the fourth number is 2 is uh, 20547 the underlined number is the underlined digit is zero. The fourth question: Use the total values of eight and seven in in seven hundred twenty thousand five hundred and eight to find one. They are differences. Two. They are sum. Three. They are product. The fifth and last question. Express a total value of 60 in 81.65 in terms of percentage. This is the homework. Make sure that you do it. And all answers are in the description below. Thank you for attending today's session. Uh, I wish you a nice moment.